I can't see You might be someone I've always needed Welcome back to another week. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I think it's currently like half one. It's a little bit late. It's like nearly two o'clock, I think. Um, but I basically just this morning woke up, did a lecture, washed my hair. I just washed and blow dried and styled my hair. And that was literally it. So I didn't feel like it was very interesting to vlog. So yeah, today I'm going to be going to, I think we're going to Tesco. Um, we're just going to pop out for a little bit because I need to get some little um, bits for mine and Danny's anniversary. So on Sunday, on the 14th of March, it's actually Mother's Day as well, it is our six year anniversary, which is kind of crazy. Um, but we had this little idea that we were going to kind of do a buy each other six things that remind us of each other kind of thing. So I think I've got like four, four things. Two of them are actually coming today. Um, but I need to try and think of two other things and I'm not gonna lie guys. It's really hard Like I think I suggested this idea Thinking like, oh my god, it's gonna be really cute like it's gonna be quite easy and I'm kind of struggling like I really don't know what else to get Um, I just don't I'm trying to think what else he likes. I honestly don't really know. Sorry my clips Coming out. Yeah, but boys are so hard to buy for at the best of times and then trying to buy something which is like Reminds me of him. It's just really really hard. I literally all he likes is like PlayStation food rick and morty hoodies just like normal boy stuff like it's just boring like, i don't even know what to get so i'll show you guys what i've got him so far i think i'm sorry i don't know where i stood up um i'm gonna show you guys what i got him so far when it actually comes i've ordered something from asos and from boohoo which are coming today um but yeah i'm just gonna get ready now um and we're gonna head to tesco because i'm gonna try and get him some Reese's pieces like you know the American you know like in Tesco have the American sweet aisle We want to try and get him some like really cool like American cereal because that's like his favorite thing in the world is cereal Um, like at the middle of the, in the middle of the night I will hear him wake up and like go downstairs and I'm like what are you doing? So I'm going to get cereal at, like three o'clock in the morning So I thought I would get him some like really cool like special kind of unusual cereal And just see if there's anything else. No, he likes beef jerky as well. This is the thing We don't know how much like I don't know what our budget is. We haven't set a budget which is kind of dangerous because I feel like we both kind of might have very different ideas of what to get. No bit of a problem, but we'll see how it goes. Really want to get some mochi balls. Craving like the ice cream mochi balls like so badly, but again, they're all out of stock. And every single time we're going to Tesco, we go in there and we go to like the aisle where the mochi balls are. And it's just kind of like a bit awkward because you see like all these young people kind of like looking in the, in the fridges like are you here for the same thing like everyone's just like peering in and i kind of don't want to look too much so it's a little bit embarrassing everyone kind of like flocks to the aisle but i'm really craving it i really want the coconut ones because i haven't had them for so long so we'll see how we go I'm gonna get dressed catch up with you guys in a little bit also guys just had a really exciting phone call i think i was talking to you guys about in the last vlog that i was like waiting for the hairdressers to call me about an appointment guys they called me i haven't booked in for the 20th of april so i'm getting a little t-section done well, i don't know i don't really know what to ask for this is the trouble because i kind of want just like i don't know if it is it called a money piece i feel like it's called a money piece where you have just like the two little bits here like not thick like i don't want it thick but just literally just like baby lights around this front bit and then maybe just a few kind of scattered around like that's all i really want so i've gone for a t-section but i feel like it won't even be a t-section and i've also got to go in two days before and get a scalp test or like a hair test i've never had that before for bleach like for highlights so i'm a bit confused why i have to have that um it's nearly been like two years since i had my hair coloured not to know that is a complete over exaggeration it's been like over a year so apparently every six months you have to have that even though i've never had it before slightly odd but yeah gonna get on now guys back from tesco as you might have seen i had a little well i actually had a little bit of a disaster i got some little moons because they finally had them um and i should have really taken them back because i literally just like i wanted to eat them in the car so i opened the packet and every single one was basically like completely melted it's actually really pissed me off i wish i'd like gone back and complained like every single one was like basically liquid and our fridge freezer it basically isn't working so i basically just had to eat them as liquid and i paid like four pound fifty for them so i'm a bit pissed off really um i mean there's actually worse things going on but you know what i mean it's just like i was looking forward to eat and then i feel like they have just not satisfied the craving because they weren't like proper 
in their proper form. So I probably should, I mean, to be honest, like when I get them, when I go to Westfield, they're always like rock solid and it takes ages for them to melt. So I don't know if the fridge, fridge freezer just wasn't, sorry, I've tied up my room. I don't think the fridge freezer was working. So hopefully they're going to be all right. Hopefully I'm not going to get ill or something. I don't know if you can get ill from that, but yeah, I was a bit annoyed about that. But anyway, life goes on. Let's just forget about it. Um, Honestly, guys, I'm not having the best of luck today. Like, in just in general, like, I feel like, Every, like quite a lot of people have been saying this recently i don't know what's going on is it like astrological is it is it retrograde I, i'm actually going to google right now is there a retrograde because i feel like there's too many things kind of going wrong to be a coincidence for like loads of different people so i don't think anything is in retrograde um definitely not mercury anyway mercury is normally the really bad one but i don't know what's going on just like things just keep going not to plan um i've kind of felt a little bit down i don't know i don't want to like be negative on this vlog but just this morning i felt i woke up felt really really good and i actually saw ash my girl ashley post this on her story like i woke up i felt really good really like really in the mood i did some work in bed like i just felt really productive and then i had a shower i just sat down and then i just ended up i just like talked myself into a bad mood like i was just complaining about everything i feel like i've kind of been in that mindset recently which is really not a good mindset to be in at all like i feel like kind of, i'm just keep putting out negative energy i need to stop because i'm just getting negative back so yeah, it's nothing major, but it's just kind of like little annoyancey things. I just feel like a little bit, just like dull. I think it's because the weather's so bad and I don't know. I don't know what it is. Go, if Comment down below if you're feeling the same because I don't know what it is. The last few days I just kind of felt a little bit, just like disconnected. Um, it's actually Wednesday still. I would normally start my vlogs on a Tuesday, but yesterday I just did not, again, feel in the mood. So I don't want to be like a little bit of a bummer on this vlog, but just life sometimes but yeah hopefully i'm gonna manifest better things i feel like i'm just being like in this down mood it's just making it 10 times worse so positive vibes only anyway guys that's enough of me being a negative nancy so i just thought i'd show you guys what came for danny for his anniversary so one of the presents i got him is this pair of boohoo man shorts he lives in these shorts like he just he wears these like summer winter he wears them when it's snowing outside he just lives in them and he's got the gray and the black already but he has like a workshop in his house and he's basically ripped the black pair and they're his favorite um he hasn't actually replaced them since he still just wears them ripped so i just got him and got him a new pair of those um i got them in a large i'm hoping they're gonna fit they don't look massively big so i think they'll be all right from asos i got him these little rick and morty socks he's obsessed with rick and morty it's like his favorite program in the world so I don't, what was that rick is i think that's rick so i just got him these little socks that he can just wear as like bed socks or to be honest like boys don't really help socks they wear do they you can't really see them um so he could probably, he, i mean i got him a pair of socks for our last anniversary or for valentine's day with my face on it so to be honest he'll probably end up wearing these so that's two of the presents i've got those two um i'll show you what i got for him from tesco and i think i think i've got all the six now i think i've done quite well yeah, I think I've got six. That's pretty good. Um, I've also got him some peach loops and stuff, which are over there from Aldi, because he also loves those. So it's kind of like a mix of like clothes, food, and then something else, which I'm actually you guys in a little bit. I'm just having my peppermint tea. This is literally, guys, my new obsession. I don't really like minty things really like i'm not really one for like mint chocolate i don't really love i kind of like mint chocolate but i don't really like i hate like mint on and you know the ice cream there's like mint like a mint leaf on it i hate it but i've been drinking peppermint tea and it's like my new obsession i absolutely love it i think my dad got it and i was like oh i don't know if i'll like it and i had a glass and i've just been obsessed with it since so it's kind of like green tea but it's a bit easier to drink because there's more flavor to it um just feel like just kind of like refreshes me and cleanses me so been loving that also these cups are from amazon i always get questions on these my mum actually broke one of them so we need to get some more but they're honestly so good like the best for drinking like like um fruit teas and stuff like that or green tea so i'll link them down below because i'm obsessed with these but yeah i need to edit tonight's instagram post and uh, to be honest i'm not reading anything interesting i'm literally watching some youtube videos just watch Gemma louise miles's um like what i eat in a day video and she was eating so healthily and doing like her intermittent fasting i was literally sat there stuffing my face with pizza love that for me um but yeah i'm just gonna watch a little bit of youtube edit my pictures for tonight and a reel maybe and i might catch up with you guys a little bit later
So guys, we're walking along this little kind of nature reserve thing kind of near my house. I literally used to come here when I was like two or three, like since I was really, really young. And I've just come here ever since. It's just like a really cute little place to come. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed this morning. So I've just come for a little walk. Um, it's really, really windy. So I don't think you can hear me very well. So it's been like the windiest night and day ever. So yeah, really, really windy, but really, really nice weather. It's really, really, really nice and sunny, which has put me in a really good mood. So yeah, just gonna carry on with our little walk. I don't know how far we're gonna go, um, but I'll try and vlog a little bit more for you guys. Also, fun fact, me and Danny used to come here all the time on our like breaks from sixth form and sit and walk around this little park. And he basically, he had this little ring that he used to wear all the time. We came to feed the ducks and he threw bread out for the ducks and lost his ring in this like little pond bit. And to this day, we still like look to the edge. This was like five years ago. And we still look to the edge of the lake to see if it will like wash up. He literally like took his shoes off and started trying to like go into the lake to try and find it. Um, but we, uh, every single time we come, we still look out for it. But no luck yet. Um, it's so pretty though. It's so cute here. So guys, just got back from our walk. Um, just read on my hair because it literally had all fallen out and not done very well. Just gonna tidy my room and then I just thought I would show you guys. Sorry, I forgot. I literally completely forgot to even kind of come on here and introduce the next day. So I forgot to vlog last night. I was literally just like doing uni work, admin, Instagram boring things so it will feel like it just wasn't really anything interesting to show you guys um i had that reward style call this morning i just went for a little walk and now i'm back kind of just a little recap um but i thought i'd show you guys some exciting things i've received in the mail because i've been getting some new things recently and i kind of don't have enough to do a whole separate video on it but i do want to show you guys what i got because it's really really exciting so guys this is a very exciting delivery i got from farfetch um i actually got this like a few days ago now but i was too late to include it in like last week's video so i thought i'd just show it to you guys now so i have a nike box and yes yeah, from farfetch i've already obviously already opened them try them on um comment down below what you think they are i mean they're expensive patches like i think i said to you guys i bought those green zara jeans to match a pair of trainers which were on the way and it, these were the trainers basically so I finally took the plunge and I finally bought a pair of Air Jordan, I think they're Air Jordan 1s. I'm really not clued up on this, like, I just like them and just got them, do you know what I mean? Um, but they came from America and they literally only, I think they only took like three days to come, which I was so impressed with. And then within the price on Farfetch, it included the import taxes and like customs charges, which was really, really good. I mean, they were like, I think they were £350, I want to say. Um, and then I think it was a bit more for shipping. But it was like, I think it was under like 370, which I think for Air Jordan 1s is really, really good. Like I've seen some of them on there. The black and white pair are just ridiculous. And a lot of the pairs are like ridiculous. But this green, white and like red pair have always been my favourite because they look kind of vintage and like retro. I was really impressed with the selection they had on Farfetch. Um, it was so much better than a lot of the websites I'd seen and it was kind of cheaper than the resale sites. And you do just have that guarantee of authenticity as well. So going to be styling these up very very soon i'm actually not taking an instagram picture in these yet which i'm kind of surprised about also they came with um two other laces as well which i thought was kind of cool i think there's a white pair as well like white red and black laces and green which i thought was really really cool and then another exciting delivery which you guys might have already seen if you follow me over on insta if you don't i'll pop my hand on the screen because you should definitely follow me over on there um, I have already just like literally just made the photo of these go live so I was really kind of I'm kindly working with Quantico on their kind of like summer shoe campaign so I actually did a reel which went live today and I did a post that went live the other day um and I'm just obsessed with these shoes like I worked with them last year I think they're just such an amazing brand um I worked with them for like their winter campaign last year for their boots and then I'm working with them for like their summer campaign this year and honestly like their shoe quality is insane the styles that they have are so good i was really on the hunt for like the, exactly this kind of style of shoe like mules like bright colored kind of like designer dupe mules like Bottega veneta vibes they have so many different kind of styles colors like all of these styles come in like 12 different colors so if these colors aren't for you there's like there's black white nude um there's like pink there's honestly so many different styles really comfortable as well i'm not the best walker in heels as you guys may know if you've been here for a while um but I can actually walk in these i think these ones personally for me are the most comfortable these green ones i wore those actually with my pink zara jeans i'll pop a picture on the screen of how it looked um kind of like green and pink 
pops of colour and I really really love that look. Um, these are just stunning. I can't walk as well in these. I think I need to try and get used to them a bit more. I'm not very good with this kind of flip flop style um, and these are just amazing they're so comfortable and they like secure around the ankle so you don't feel like they're going to slip off um but i wear size 7 in all quantum clothes shoes so i will definitely link them down below so i said i was going to tidy my room i still haven't done that so i'm going to get on with that now i actually need to do some uni work because i had a uni lecture today and it just left me feeling a little bit I'm not stressed but i feel like i need to be doing work so i'm gonna try and sit down for a few hours now probably won't talk to you guys for a little bit and just try and get on really power through and make some progress with it because i feel like i have been kind of slacking a little bit so yeah i'm gonna do that for a bit now maybe i'll show you guys what i have as like a little snack later i'm feeling a bit hungry um see so yeah, i'll speak to you guys in a little bit yay it's dinner time i'm so hungry i'm literally starving um so guys i have a pasta bake i think with some broccoli and some red wine being a little bit naughty again um so yeah i think it's like a healthy pasta bake and i'm not really eating that much today i only really had like my breakfast so yeah i'm very much looking forward to getting stuck into this it literally looks insane i got this like is it from like a recipe book thing that you got a magazine it's from like a tesco magazine so i'll try and like see if i can link a recipe for it down below basically just like a basic veggie pasta um but there's always really good recipes in that book so i'll try and link it down below because i feel like it might be useful for some of you guys so guys i'm gonna do it this way around because you can see my address on the other side but just got a very exciting zara delivery again i'm buying from zara i need someone to stop me um this is only half the order that's come today that i think the other half's coming tomorrow but that's kind of my mom's like mother's day present um but i will open this up i need to try the things on but i might just wait until my dinner's gone down a little bit i feel a little bit kind of <laughs> bloated i think one of them's a dress so i'm just gonna like wait a little bit edit my instagram pictures and then just go to the ups store to pick up the bloody thing they tried to deliver earlier i think it's a gifted like parcel thing so i'll bring you guys along to do that um but i'm just gonna like let my dinner go down get some admin bits done just boring things really um and then i'll show you guys what's in the sara parcel so guys just got back from the shops going at my decennio prints that were like oh sorry that my mask is very dirty um my decennio prints that i missed like because i was out i was gonna vlog in there but honestly guys there was a bit of a situation going on in there and it just wasn't really appropriate to film like it was a bit of a scary situation so i mean not that scary it sounds really dramatic but also i had a glass of wine i feel like it's gone straight to my head sorry if i sound a little bit drunk not quite sure why that is either but i think it's like a combination of like tiredness and alcohol um but yeah went to get my decennial prints i'll show you guys probably that in, in a video coming very soon did say i was going to show you guys my zara um what was in the zara parcel um but i think you know i might do another order and then like do another haul because there's some more things i want to order so i might just give you a sneak peek but i might not actually try it on and show you guys because i might just say that for a haul so guys here's a little sneak peek at the colors i'm not going to show you what i got but these are the colors although i have just tried this on little disclaimer i got it in a small and it's slightly too tight like it actually fits really really well like it's really snug but it's just that little bit hard to get on so i might actually reorder this in a medium and order some other colors as well while i'm at it but this dress oh my gosh i can't wait to show you guys it. it's absolutely stunning it's like a carrie bradshaw moment it makes me so excited for summer um but i'm just gonna take my makeup off and i'm gonna go in the bath and scrub all this tan off i think because my tan is literally a state guys i have literally found the holy grail tan combo like the best tan combo i've ever ever tried so it's basically the channelogist dark mousse which i think i showed you guys in a previous vlog been absolutely loving this like obsessed with it and then it's just kind of like an og fave of mine the sienna ultra dark sienna x ultra dark uh, not mousse like a lotion um these two together i mean i don't even think you're supposed to mix fake tans i think that's like <laughs> a rule against it or something but honestly guys these two mixed together is honestly a game changer like a complete game changer my tan has lasted so long it was just such a nice like golden color lasted so long like dried so quick really even really good like color tone honestly i can't fault it and i feel like it's not really something i necessarily would have thought to do i was running out of this and i was like right i'm just gonna mix it with a bit of this and it would just transform my life so definitely pick these two up if you're kind of looking for a new tan to try because i'm so impressed i'm just obsessed with this so yeah, i'm gonna hop in the shower now and then i'm also gonna do another zara order i'm gonna reorder that red top in a medium and i'm also gonna order some more bits because why the fuck not um i'm just gonna kind of relax 
I was gonna do some uni work and then I was like, do you know what, I'm kind of losing steam. It'll probably just be better if I get an early night and just carry on tomorrow because I'm just never good if I'm kind of lagging. So I was really tired today anyway. I'm just gonna get some kind of like rest and stuff and then be back at it tomorrow. Yeah, let's go in the bath. Let's get this absolutely awful fake tan scrubbed off. To be fair, it's not even that bad. Like this is how like much it's lasted. Like this is like really, really old fake tan. It still doesn't look that bad. So yeah, let's scrub this off. Head in the bath. So hello everyone and welcome back to another day. I think I did actually say I was going to stop vlogging last night. Um, ignore that, I've just started vlogging again today. Went for a walk this morning, I think I showed you guys my breakfast. Feeling a little bit more positive today, the weather's a little bit better. I mean, it's not now, it's actually like really really windy but this morning it was a little bit sunnier i just felt a little bit more positive um i just felt like picking up the vlog camera again today but i did just want to show you guys I, I feel like i said at the beginning i got danny like these things for our anniversary i didn't actually show you guys what i actually bought like from tesco and all the things i kind of got him so i'm gonna quickly get dressed and then i'm gonna show you guys what i got him because i feel like it's quite cute i actually need to double check i've got six presents because i'm kind of or I've got five, so we're gonna have to count that and try and see. Um, but I did actually put, just put some fake tan on. I know I said I was gonna do it last night. Um, basically had a bit of a mare, and I basically don't think it was like ready to come off. So I was scrubbing and scrubbing, and it just wasn't coming off. I just got all stressed. So I basically had to have another shower this morning, scrub it all off, and I just put on some kind of. It was not developed now. It's like looking really pale, but. So I just basically put on some of the Bondi Sands liquid gold. Cause you don't have to wash that off. So I'm just gonna leave that on today. Going to my dad's later, so this vlog, like this day of the vlog probably won't be too long. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap all of these presents up. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. Ignore my slightly messy room. But I basically got all the presents in here. Um, and then I'm just gonna be going and wrapping them up. Also got my mum's um, presents for Mother's Day as well, which I'm gonna try and wrap. So I don't know how I'm gonna make it look good. I'm not the best at wrapping to be honest it's kind of, i think this is christmas wrapping paper as well we couldn't get any um we'll try and make it look cute I'll, I'll give it a go okay guys so here are all the things i got for danny i'll talk you guys through them so they make a little bit more sense so this is his kind of like main present his most expensive present i'm not actually gonna open it because i'm just in case it doesn't work i want to just keep it all in its like packaging um but it's basically a light projector that you put like it projects the light onto the ceiling i'll try and pop a picture on the screen you've probably seen them like everywhere recently um i just saw it in anastasia king's north's vlog her like moving vlog she had one of these and i just thought oh my god that is right up down the street he's gonna love that um we basically love like we love looking at stars and like galaxies and stuff anyway <laughs> galaxies and jokes um, we love looking at the stars whenever we go to Swanage, like we always sit and look at the stars. And also he's just obsessed with things like galaxy anyway. I painted a galaxy on his wall when I was younger. Um, we don't, it's not on his wall anymore, but I painted it like a while ago just because he kind of like loves like gaming and things like that. So yeah, got him that. Um, hopefully you'll see better on the screen kind of what it is. So then I think I showed you guys this yesterday. Basically Danny is like the cereal king. He literally was obsessed with cereal. Um, I think he likes Reese's as well, so I just got him like these this American cereal because I thought it looked quite cool. I kind of want to try it as well, so I wonder if he'll let me have it. This was not cheap, this was like five pounds for cereal. Um, I hope he's gonna like it. He just is obsessed with cereal, so I thought he might like it. Um, these are our favourite sweets. This is that was two presents, this is the third one. And these are our favourite sweets from Audi. Um they're just the best, like, they are the best, and to be honest, it's kind of bad, because I'm vegetarian, but I just can't get enough of gummy sweets, like, gummy sweets are the only thing I kind of have which aren't vegetarian, although, I don't think I'm going to be eating these anymore, because I was going to have one pack for me and one pack for him, went to eat it the other day, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but literally, is it going to focus? Things going to focus, but two sweets contain 68 calories, that is just, like, criminal, so I was like, do you know what, they're not even worth that, so, I might have one or two, but honestly, like, they're quite calorific, but yeah, he loves those kind of sugary sweets. Then sticking on the sweet theme, um, I got him the Marvelous Creations Popping Candy Bar because he just absolutely loves it. Like it's, I think it's like our favorite, both of our favorite chocolates. Um, but so 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 nice, and yeah, I know that he loves that. And I think I showed you guys the other two. I don't know if did I show you guys. So I hope he's gonna like it. We didn't really do like a budget, so I'm, I don't know like what on earth he's got me. I'll try and include it in next week's vlog. Um, but yeah, that's gonna try and wrap that up now. And then I'll show you guys what I got my mum for Mother's Day as well. 
Okay, I finished wrapping up his presents. I feel like it looks kind of cute, um, considering we're literally using the drugs of the Christmas wrapping. But I basically just summoned this tissue because I ran out of wrapping paper and the only other colour I've got is pink. So I used like this blue tissue paper and just like double wrapped it. So I think it looks kind of cute. Um, I just need to do my mum's up. I'll show you guys what I got her for Mother's Day. So for Mother's Day for my mum, I'm not going to open both of them, but I got her these Zara mugs. Because she said she wanted like a smaller mug for the evenings because all our mugs are like massive. And this is kind of like a good size mug. It's kind of like this rust stick earthenware kind of style mug i feel like they're kind of like unique so i don't know if the other one will be exactly the same um but got her those and then i actually purchased like with my own money i got my first pair of ego slippers gifted and then my mum's basically been obsessed with them so i just thought i'd buy her own pair um so yeah it's basically ones that we've seen before but i just got her own pair because she's absolutely obsessed with them and her slippers actually broke yesterday so yeah she'll be getting these i don't know if i should have got her something else um I mean, these weren't the cheapest, so I don't normally do loads for Mother's Day. Maybe I'll just get her some flowers or something, but those are her two kind of little gifts. I'm going to wrap those up. I've got pink wrapping paper. Then do I do the gold bow? I guess I'll do this. See, so, yeah, I can't really wrap Danny's wrapping paper in this. So I'm going to do this wrapping paper maybe with this ribbon. I've got one more of these, like, better ribbons, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, I've finished wrapping. I've signed all my cards done all my kind of little tasks and sorry i should literally be a professional rapper like sorry i've kind of outdone myself with this wrapping <laughs> not gonna lie i mean don't get too close it's honestly not the most perfect but i think i did a pretty good job so pretty pleased with that little task so yeah basically now i need to pack my bags i'm going to my dad's for the weekend i Ooh, what have i just knocked over i've just wiped my head i'll look in a minute i think it's a sellotape um basically i'm going to my dad's i've been going to my dad's every single weekend during like the whole lockdown because he lives alone so i'm his support bubble so yeah he lives like fairly close to me anyway so i'm gonna be going to his this weekend so i'm gonna pack up my bag and just like decide what i want to take to his i'm gonna edit the vlog there so i'm gonna have to take all of my camera my laptop all that shebang um and just do some uni work at his as well so yeah and basically just write out my cards and can anyone else relate like i still it's gonna sound quite controversial i call my mum mummy still does anyone else do i i can't call her mum oh if i'm saying i'm talking about her i say that my mum but like whenever i get her cards and stuff i get i should be fair i call her mama i don't really call her mummy because i'm a 21 year old woman i don't want to call myself a woman 21 year old girl um but like in cards i just can't get her like a mother or mum card i get her a mummy one so i always get her mummy card um and then i can't show you guys the cards i've just finished sealed them um, but for Danny's card, like, I just got kind of like a love you now and forever or something card because we don't do soppy really, like, I don't know, kind of a little bit. I used to kind of get him, like, cringy cards, but we're just not really that type of, I don't know, like, he would, I'd find it weird if he got, sometimes, sometimes he surprises me and writes, like, a cute little message and it means more because he doesn't do it as much, but, like, yeah, I just kind of short and sweet, cute kind of card. Oh, God, I'm literally, like, damaging myself today, I just I just ripped that no it's fine um so yeah i just wrote like a little cute thing inside so yeah i might finish the vlog now because i feel like this is going to be quite long again every single time i'm like oh i don't have much to vlog i end up finding like every single thing in the world to vlog so hope you guys have enjoyed it sorry again guys these vlogs are just not going to be the most entertaining until we're allowed out which is actually not too long now like really not too long so i'm getting really excited yeah i hope you all have a lovely rest of your week or week ahead if this goes live on sunday um i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>